You'll need a really good intuition about geometry to solve this maths Olympiad problem. It was the last question from the Hamilton Olympiad, so that's aimed at students roughly 15 years old. And we've got a diagram here showing a quadrilateral ABCD, where AB plus CD equals BC are the interior angle bisectors of angle B and C, and the perpendicular bisector of AD are shown as dotted lines. So the interior angle bisectors, that means it's a line that splits the angle exactly into two equal parts, and the perpendicular bisector of a line, of course, splits the line into uh, two equal parts and goes through at right angles to that line. And we want to prove that these three bisectors meet at a point, i.e. that they all meet at the same point. Of course, each pair of the bisectors are going to meet each other, but do they all meet at one single point? Yes, they do. The question is why. Most of the Olympia problems need a bit of playing around with them at first, and then we might come back and try to write up a formal argument. So uh, let's do that here. Let's think about the information we've got and how we can use it. So we've got AB plus CD equals BC. That means that this red line here uh, plus this green line here, uh, AB plus DC, equals this longer line between uh, B and C. So um, I could uh, make uh, a red part of it and a green part of it here. And actually just adding that to the diagram gives us a good hint as to perhaps what we should do next because uh, I can use that information and turn it into some isosceles triangles if I add uh, a line here uh, from A to this point here, let's just call it X, then I get an isosceles triangle and I'll get another isosceles triangle by adding in this line DX uh, because we know the green lines are equal and we know the red lines are equal in length. And the next step requires a little bit of inspiration and perhaps some experience with these sorts of problems because I now want to think about these three uh, lines. One of them, the one through AD, is just a perpendicular bisector of AD. And what you notice is that the other lines are actually perpendicular bisectors of AX and DX, right? That's because we've got these isosceles triangles. So if we've got a line that is the angle bisector of B, it's going to split that uh, triangle ABX into two congruent triangles and the same uh, over at C. So how do we use this information? We need to think what tools do we have available here? And actually the solution to this one is going to involve putting a circle on the diagram. That's something that will need either some intuition or experience to uh, realize. So let's do that. I'm going to put a circle exactly through the points A, D and X. And now the idea is that because uh, DX has this blue line as a perpendicular bisector, DX is a chord of the circle. So we know that that perpendicular bisector must go through the center of the circle because a perpendicular bisector of a chord will be a radius or a diameter if we extend it. And that's also true uh, for the blue line that goes through angle B. That's a perpendicular bisector of the chord AX. And so that's also going to be going through the center of the circle. And of course, we've got the perpendicular bisector through AD. That's also going to be a radius of the circle or a diameter of the circle if we extend it. And so that also goes through the center of the circle. And so we've proven actually what we need to here, which is that these three lines do all go through the same point and they're exactly the center uh, of this circle. And this point at the center is sometimes called the circumcenter of the triangle ADX. Now for an Olympiad answer, we have to write this out fully to get 10 out of 10 here. It's not just about getting that idea right, it's about giving a convincing proof in writing. So let me show you how to do that now. We'll just go through everything that we've done in those ideas and just make sure we've got it down on the page solidly. So since AB plus CD equals BC, we know there must be this point X on BC such that AB equals BX and XC equals uh, CD uh, and that means that uh, the triangles ABX and CDX are both isosceles triangles. So since triangle ABX is isosceles, then we know that the angle bisector of angle B is also the perpendicular bisector of uh, AX. And similarly, uh, we know that since triangle CDX is isosceles, uh, the angle bisector of angle C is the perpendicular bisector of DX. So if we construct a circle uh, passing through the points uh, A, D and X, then the three dotted lines are perpendicular bisectors of the chords AD, AX and DX and hence all meet at the centre of the circle and if we want to we could put in brackets that that's the circumcenter uh, of the triangle ADX and that would give us a nice complete well explained answer that's written very clearly and efficiently because we did all the thinking ahead of time and then just wrote out a nice answer. And if you enjoyed that problem, here's another Olympiad geometry problem that also involves putting a circle on the diagram in a clever way. I wonder if you can find it.